All right, we're now going to extract some squirrels from my Elantra. There and there. Kick it. Oh, you hear me. You hear me around. That's this. No, shh. Stop moving. Brian, don't be getting bit. You already took two days off. Really? You're going to put your face down there in the front of the squirrel. The nest is right there. I can see its tail. Alright. Alright. End of experiment? Well, I don't know. I'd like to get that down on top of the nest. Here. Yeah, this is way more exciting. What are you standing on top of the car Because I'm trying to get a, a visual of... Well, they come closer. The oh. camera guy is supposed to get closer. That should be enough. Woo! That smells. End of experiment? For now. We'll check Any, later. Anything to say, Dan? No. It was very anticlimactic. I'm not too happy with the results right now. Unless it runs out and runs up your leg. get them out with peanuts <laughs> well they're probably driven out by all the smell oh yeah I'm gonna grab a little net and lay there. Okay. There you go. Get one on the ground over here. Okay. You're gonna go to a happy place. Yeah. Get away from all these mean men. Just as that's There's a man sitting there. There's a third one under here. Yeah. He's peeing. Do they, do they bite when they're that young? They can. They've got teeth in their mouth, yeah. Have you ever been bit? Yes, I have. That's why I wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't. And that didn't. I don't the doubt guy it. drove it on the tow truck. People drive into the Humane Society and say, we got a raccoon under our hood. Where did you come from? Well, whatever, Delafield, they drove all the way. Because <laughs> I don't see any more fur. Any more fur? <laughs> Take your thing and tap on the. They can crawl up underneath stuff. Exactly. It, to one, their siblings. Yeah, exactly. They hear noise and they all kind of converge. So that's a that's a good thing.